Today on Glow's Eatery, I have two special guests. My first guest beside me is my grandson, Ethan. And you may recognize him from other shows, but today you are going to have the opportunity to enjoy Ethan's lasagna. And I'm going to let Ethan take over and I am his assistant. So Ethan, go ahead. Tell me what to do when you need to. Okay, uh, first you can start beating the eggs. Okay. And I'll start making the sauce. Mm-hmm. Need some regular tomato sauce. And I noticed when we did do the uh, sauces, because we tried a few lasagnas, we found marinara sauce was one of the best. So keep that in mind. Okay, I've got the eggs all ready for need you. some crushed tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We figured that's about 14 ounces, like a, a half a can. Olive oil. Mm. I need some sugar. Onions. Ethan loves onions. And you need some garlic. Hands again. Very messy, just by <laughs> making the sauce. Now let's mix. Do you want me to help you mix it so you can do the filling? Uh, sure. Okay, you I'll can. switch with you. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. This smells so good, Ethan, and you know why? I love garlic. Okay, so. let me hit the bowl. And that's the ricotta, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's two pounds of ricotta cheese. This really is uh, one of the best. It's very, very easy. I think this is good. And you're going to ladle it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'll leave the ladle there for you. All right, so you've got the ricotta. Okay. Good. I'm almost done. Here, I'll help you just okay. go ahead, scoop it out. Good. That's plenty. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll make a hole in the middle so it's easier to put the eggs and this inside of it. Okay. And you use different seasoning mixes. Do you remember what they are? Uh, oregano, oregano and basil. Yeah, right. Mmm. And the eggs. Good. And we tried it with uh, more Parmesan cheese, but we've got so much in the lasagna itself that this seems to be enough. The ricotta, the eggs, and the seasoning. And then we have a 9 by 13 pan, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this will go here, and you can position things the way you'd like them. Okay? Go ahead. I'll take over on the cheese for a minute. Okay. You can start in. First, around, uh, around two scoops of sauce. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be good enough. Okay. You can probably use that spatula. Yeah, yeah, that looks better. Get all the edges and all of the corners. Okay. And see how nice and smooth the ricotta mix is? Very, very good. He'll spoon it. But next, you need to do the okay. noodles. Need four in each layer. And what do you do? Uh, tell the um, viewing audience how you place them. It's like around half an inch on top of each other. Each. Right. See, so you like layer it. Good. Beautiful. Now, 
Let's add some more sauce. Okay. Add two more. Mm-hmm. Now here's the unique part, okay? You'll want to take okay. this, and I think the best thing would be to use this, okay, so, to scoop it out of the spoon. I'm going to first make it into, put lines, it'll be helpful, more helpful to put around like three, two lines mm -hmm. to make it into like three layers and then you would want to like scoop out each each layer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, Ethan has developed a very nice method. I like the way you do it. And just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, it can okay. spread more evenly. Sure. Yeah, now I should go right ahead. Spread it. Mm hmm And it doesn't matter if the uh, sauce blends in with it because it's all going to be heated together anyway, but you're at least giving it a nice layer of the cheese. Okay, now we're gonna have another layer of noodles. Okay. If uh, you prepare these noodles beforehand, like we had to do for the show, the best thing to do is spray each of the noodles on both sides. That's why it has a little sheen to it. They don't stick, they don't get dry and hard, and uh, it doesn't affect the lasagna at all. And Ethan has it down to a science. He knows just how much to put on. And this is a good thought if you have younger family members or older family members. This is a wonderful recipe if you want to put together a dinner or a lunch and have a young person make it for you. Very good. Okay. And now it's, again, it's the ricotta, but then you're going to add, if I'm not mistaken, you're adding Parmesan afterwards, huh? Right okay. on top of this. Good. I'm gonna try to put them in the corners first. Good, that's easy. So I don't forget them. Sure, that's smart. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now you've selected to add Parmesan to this layer, right? Yep. Okay, so there you go. Mmm, it smells so good. Can you smell that garlic? Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, you're right. You've got the corners. But that uh, frosting knife is excellent, the spreader. Good. Okay. Okay. Ethan, you're very careful with how you arrange everything to make sure that it's overall very nice. Now, what's the uh, oven temperature for this? Uh, it's 350 degrees, okay. and you should cook it for around uh, 30 minutes, and maybe you should add an extra 10 minutes after that. Okay. Very nice. So 30 minutes it would be covered and then you can do an extra 10 minutes uncovered to have the top just brown in. Okay. And there we have. And it's advisable to actually cook a couple of boxes of lasagna noodles 
just in case because sometimes they break and they crack. So this way you have enough. You need about 16 or you could have 20, but we chose to do 16. I think maybe a little bit more. Okay. Okay, go ahead, try it. Nice. Oh, that's right, you'll need a little bit more afterwards, right? Mm hmm Okay. Good. Do you want me to try some of this? Uh, sure. Okay, I'll start with the edges. Okay. Now, do I use all of it? Uh, yeah. Okay. And that's the last thing. Okay. This was the last third. Okay, you're all set. Okay. Now here's where you use this, right? Yep, the mozzarella. Just a little bit more mm -hmm. the edges. Sure. Mm, that spread very nicely. Good. And now we have the last one. Last layer. Mm hmm Perfect. Do you want to hold it for me? Sure. So Absolutely. There's a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Oh, that looks fantastic. And we'll take it to the oven and bake it. Okay. And, and we'll... Now, after this, we just need a little more Parmesan. Right. know this recipe so well because you created it. <laughs> and your... we spent a lot of time making it. That's right. That's right. Out of the Parmesan. Okay. okay, so here we go. Why don't we show the viewers what it looks like. Whoops, it's starting to slide because it has so much wonderful sauce, but there it is. And we will take and cover it tightly. Okay, and you can bring it over to the oven. Okay. Okay, there you go. And now we will just take a little break and wait for it to bake. After we get the first piece out, it should be easier. Okay. Not too bad. We can eat the messy ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one. And then, ooh, messy. if I were home, I'd be eating all these little pieces. That. Okay, I always should put mine on here. You need any help with it? I, I think I'm good. Yeah? You are good, yes. All right, try to get another piece. There we go. <laughs> good. I'll get one more. Me too. And then we can 
call some of our friends onto the set who work at WCAT. Come on and try this wonderful lasagna. Barbara, Tom, okay, we're going to give them, here, you put a few on a plate. Oh good, I don't think I could eat all that. <laughs> and there, okay. And if you'd like, you can always come back for more. There's this, and this, and we'll save some for the camera crew and for Grandpa and for our next guest, Miss Isabella. But how about you, Ethan? I can wait. You can wait? Yeah. Well, try a little piece. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to try a little piece. I got right? stuff last night. I had a lot. <laughs> I know you did. I know you've been... Uh, he made a lasagna at the house and gave Grandma and Grandpa a little piece to try, and it was terrific, absolutely terrific. I like taking all the pieces that are left, like the crumbs that are left in the pan. But can you taste, Delicious. isn't it? Now I gotta tell you, my wife's Italian. Uh -oh. <laughs> and this lasagna is amazing. Don't say it. Don't say it. Ooh. It's amazing. Okay. I have to be careful what I say, yeah. I know, but it is amazing. Well, maybe it's you delicious. can take a piece home for her because. I will. I will because um, we need a lot of lasagna. Ethan has been trying this now for the past few months, and you've come up with a great recipe. It's delicious. Mmm. Delicious. Very good. Mmm. Absolutely excellent. And uh, it's a pleasure because when Ethan comes over to the house, mm -hmm. he loves to bake. And so thank you so much. It's been good being on the show with you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. And I look forward to having you on again soon. Okay? okay. You always come up with great concoctions. Okay? So you'll think about it, all right? Okay. Okay. And now, we have to get ready for your sister because this is the main dish. Thank you. Thank this you is too. the main dish. And Isabella is going to come on with the dessert. So stay tuned. Okay, now that we have our main course done, we are now going to add in a dessert. And I have with me Isabella, my granddaughter, who loves to cook and bake. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. And today, what are we making? Chocolate chip pumpkin cake. Chocolate chip pumpkin cake, okay? And she loves it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the dry ingredients, all right? And the dry ingredients are the flour, the sugar, the baking soda, baking powder, and the salt, all right? And I'm not gonna dump it, because you know why? No. If I dump it, we're getting the flour in our face. It's gonna come back up at us. So I'm going to, if you could just help me with the spoon, go ahead and just gently take it out. Awesome. Isabella is a student at the Woodville School. Mm -hmm. And you're in what grade? Third. The third grade. Okay. All right, now I can do that. Now, what do we do next? Make a well, which Absol is a hole. Right, and you know, you just reminded me, this is the pumpkin mix. And in order for us to make the topping that we're going to drizzle, I have to take two tablespoons, all right? And I have to take it out, because if I don't, we're not going to have that nice flavor, all right? Mm -hmm. So, the next thing we're doing is? Mix the eggs. Okay, and give them a good whisk around. Good. 
Nice job, okay? And now you can pour it into the middle. Good, thank you. Excellent. Okay, now after that, Oil. I'll add that because that can be a little bit messy. Okay. And after that? The pumpkin I fill it. Why don't you take the small spatula? Okay, go ahead. It looks pretty messy, doesn't it? Yep, very. But you've made this before. Yep. So you know what it looks like. Yep. Good. Okay, now, what do you add next? There's one more thing, and it's one of your favorites. Chocolate chips. <laughs> I'll let you do it. Okay, now what do we do? Mix it. Okay, and guess who's going to mix it? Me. Good. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good. This is a good way to build muscles, right? Yep. <laughs> what are some of your other favorite things to make? Mm, probably pancakes. Pancakes. Yeah, but I know you like M&M cookies, too. Yep. And chocolate chip. Yeah. That's why this is a good one. You're doing a great job. And you can bake this in either a 9-inch tube pan or a bundt pan. Now, I do say it does not have to be greased, but I do find if you just spray it a little bit, which I have done, uh, it makes it easier when you have to invert it. So. Hey, Grandma, can you make Oh, sure. You did very well. There. How's it now? Um. Maybe a little more just in case. Okay, a little more just, how's that? I think good. that looks good. All right, so what we do is I'm going to take one, put it a little bit flatter on the table, and good. And what you're going to do is you're going to smooth it around, all right? Because right now it looks a little bit choppy, right? Yep. And we want to make sure that when the cake comes out that it's even. All right, so now you get the spreader and you spread it around. How's that? Okay. Good. That's perfect. See this? I'll show our viewers how you're doing it. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. And make sure you get the corners, too. Good. Excellent. Thank you. How nice this looks. And we just need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay? That's not that much. And I'll let you measure out a tablespoon of water when I put in the cup of confectioner sugar. So you just make sure that you have a tablespoon. One, that's a half a cup. And very good. Okay. And now, keep doing it to get out all the confectioner sugar lumps. But this topping is terrific. And it just drips down, right? Yep. Okay. You have to really whip it. One of Isabella's favorite pastimes is gymnastics. So okay. she's got a lot of strength. <laughs> she loves doing flips, right? Yep. Unbelievable. What's the favorite thing that you like to do? Is it headstands or? Probably round off. Round off? Round off. What is that? It's, just, it's technically just a curl, but you land on two feet. You land on two feet. I hear you. But you love dancing. Yep. Now, I think that's pretty good, don't you? Yep. 
Look at that. This was out of the oven. We turned it over. We let it cool for a while. There it is. That's the top side. And here's the bottom side. So we just inverted it. Okay? Now, let's try it. You go ahead and if you have, if, if you can't drizzle it, I've got another one that we did the other day. And good. If you have to, you can force it. Right. That. Good. Start on the top right there. Start on the top and then push it down with the spoon. There. Here's another spot right here. Very, very good. Are you good at cutting? Mm, a cutting little. Cake? A little? You think you'd be able to cut some slices? Mm, I think I could. Right here. Okay. And maybe, gee, it looks good, Isabella. Ooh, you did it. Okay. Mm, mm, look at that. You got to try it. You want to try a little piece? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Try it out. Mm. Chocolate chips make it. Mm. And you know, it bakes for about an hour. Try not to overbake it. And it gives you wonderful texture. There it is, right there. And maybe Ethan can come back on, and maybe he can have a piece of chocolate chip pumpkin cake. Come on on. <laughs> there you go, Ethan. Okay. All right. Would you like a fork? Sure. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. Great job. I don't know. You don't know? Probably all of it. Oh, I think just having the experience this is good. of coming on the show because Isabella has made this and she's done a lot of baking with me. But just coming on the set and doing this is a brand new experience, huh? Yep. And I think you did a great job. And both of you, I really appreciate having you on the show and I look forward to having you come on and have the audience see you do something else most unique because children can be responsible in the kitchen with parental guidance. And I do hope that you will encourage your child, neighbor, family member to do that as well because I love having people in my neighborhood come over and they love they love to be in the house as long as there's food or something to make. And I say so long for today from Glow's Eatery. And if you have any questions, please contact me at glowmez at verizon.net. And then also at the end of the program, you will see the recipes for lasagna and chocolate chip pumpkin cake. Thank you.